I'm just in the middle of editing this video and I thought I would jump in and just say thank you so much for all of the comments on my last video. They were really lovely and encouraging. And some of you shared some of your stories about how you chose to do something similar and you just said it was the best thing that you ever did. So I'm feeling super inspired. I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded for almost two weeks again. Moving has just been really hectic and then going to London and now I'm back in Melbourne. It's just been a whole lot, but uh, this is just a bunch of my moving stuff over the last month or so and I'm not really sure even what type of videos to be making at the moment or what to be putting together but here's just a collection of the moving stuff and sort of the process and some of the ways that I decided to organize myself for my move and then I guess in the next couple of videos I'll probably be going through a little bit more of that and then we're gonna catch up to where we are now and yeah, it's all just a bit all over the place at the moment and I'm still trying to figure it out. One of the first things that I have to do this morning is clean out this cupboard because someone is coming to pick it up. So I have no idea where I'm gonna store my sweaters or my jeans now, but I need to get it prepared for the person to come and get it. Do you know what? I just realized that this top drawer is basically empty. When I did my wardrobe switchover, I didn't really end up putting anything in here. So I think most of those sweaters will fit in here. gone. Feels like one less thing that I have to worry about. Last night I started writing a list of all the things that I need to get listed for sale so I feel like I have a better idea of what I'm doing in that department. But since it's been about a week of me pulling things apart and trying to organize and pack things and sell things, it is absolute chaos in here. It is such a mess. And in a few hours, I actually have the first person coming through to look at the place to see if they want to rent it after me. I need to do some major cleaning. I need to make this place look really nice and presentable. So this is gonna be a big chunk of cleaning motivation. And then this afternoon, I might get back into doing a little bit more packing and organizing and that kind of stuff. It's a little different in here. My coffee table is gone. I sold that over the weekend. It's been gone for a few days and I've just moved the ottoman here into the middle. I need to put away all of the towels that I washed the other day and just give everything a really good vacuum. looking pretty clean in here. It's very empty compared to what it used to be. You'll also notice that there's a bunch of stuff missing from over here. I sold the side table, the lamp, the vase that was up here and most of that stuff. The books I did give to Liz so they're just being held for me at the studio. Down here I've got some boxes and I've started packing some things and I'm gonna leave those there because they're aware that I'm moving so it is gonna be a little bit messy but I do need to go and make my bed and put away some clothes washing but I also need to put away this stuff so I'm gonna do this and then also vacuum the floors because it's kind of dusty out here. You'll notice a little bit of a difference in here. Both the lamps have a new home and the tall green flowers in there are now at the studio and the other ones are also going to get a new home I think today or tomorrow as well.
the packing storage place. I've got boxes, vacuum sealed bags. And the other day I went through the little tub that had all of my tool related items. A lot of this is the stuff that came with my furniture pieces. So when I do sell them, I can give the new owners the original items. For example, this is all of the original handles to the dresser in my closet. And then over the back there, I think I have the original stuff that came with the TV unit. It just means that if they want to do anything with that, they can. And then I also have all of the Allen keys and the tools that came with it so they can pull it apart and do whatever they want with it. But unfortunately, just because of the, the way that I'm moving right now, I really can't clean this up any more than what it is. And as I said, they know I'm moving. So it's expected to have at least some part of my place look like this. The good thing is the rest of the place looks really nice and clean. I just need to go in and tidy up the bathroom as well. pick back up tomorrow morning but I thought I would show you really quickly what I have to deal with before I go to bed someone wanted to buy the dresser that was standing in here so it's now in the hallway waiting to be picked up and I now have to deal with everything that was inside the dresser and I don't know what to do with it for tonight it's probably just gonna live on the floor and tomorrow I can figure it out one of the first projects today is to take pictures of my bedside tables and list them for sale and I have these really pretty gold handles on them that I got from anthropology and I want to keep them. So I'm gonna take these off and put the old handles on and then take some pictures. Decided I want to do the same for this dresser. I want to keep the T-bar handles So I'm gonna take these ones off and put the original ones back on and then clean this up and take some pictures Good morning, it's a couple days later. I've already had someone come and pick up my chest of drawers. So now my clothes are on the floor of my bedroom. I need to go down to my storage locker and get my suitcases and just empty that as well. And then I have a couple more things going today that I need to prepare. I need to take the picture frames down. I think someone's coming for the TV, possibly the TV unit, my bedside tables. So there's a lot going today. So it's gonna really start feeling different. And I also need to get in and organize my kitchen stuff. There's actually a lady who is very interested in all of my kitchen stuff. so I need to catalog it all basically and let her know about it all. It's all happening today. It's gonna really start to feel different in here, but I'm, I'm really excited about it. All of this is going today. They're gonna go to their new homes. Uh, it's all happening this afternoon, so I've got a bit of time, but I just thought I would get it all organized for the people that are coming to get it. I should really make a start on the kitchen stuff. I'm pretty sure someone is coming for the toaster and the kettle tomorrow, but just all the other bits and pieces, there's a lady who was after like cutlery and bowls and plates and stuff specifically. So I need to get it all together and send her pictures of everything so she can choose what she likes. I 
just went down to the storage locker and grabbed my suitcases and one bag of Christmas stuff. I still have a few things to grab down there, but I think I'm gonna take this suitcase back to Australia and use these two in storage, but I need to clean them because they are disgusting. my bedroom looks like. So the trouble that I'm having is that I need to pack for both summer and winter. So I have no idea what I'm gonna be able to take with me and what I should put in the suitcases, but I definitely need to make a start on it. As much as I would love to start packing stuff in there, it needs to be aired out. It's like a bit musky because it's been closed up for more than six months. So I'm gonna have to maybe do this tomorrow instead. I just had confirmation that my TV unit is going today and I actually think the TV is going to someone else, but I now need to empty it all, clean it and move it for them to come pick it up. I just went down to grab the Christmas boxes. I'm gonna give basically all of this a new home. I do need to clean these boxes as well. And then the best thing about this is I can actually store clothes in here once all the Christmas stuff is gone. next morning but I thought I would just show you the absolute chaos. It, all this kitchen stuff is going today. A lot of this stuff is going. It's just all those little bits and pieces that are super annoying plus some stuff for me getting ready last night that I do need to put away. But it's absolute chaos. I have so much work to do. It's a few days later and I don't think my life, my house has ever been this messy before and living like this for a few days has been very, very interesting. There's stuff everywhere and I actually cleaned up a little bit this morning, but you wouldn't really know because it's still a disaster. I have managed to get rid of so much stuff in the last couple of days. I've had lots of people coming and picking things up, which is great. Liz came over and helped me organize a whole bunch of stuff. And now I'm up to all just that like really little fiddly stuff that I think I'm going to do deal with by making piles of stuff in my living room space here. So I just like rearranged everything and kind of cleared the space and I'm going to make a hard rubbish pile for things that you know are broken or things that I can't give away to people and then I have a donation pile, pile of stuff that I want to keep, a pile of stuff that's getting new homes and a pile of stuff for my friends. So those are the categories I think I'm just gonna go with. I've already started making piles but I need to go through everything and like all this stuff up here it just needs to go and be put into all the categories so that I'm ready to start boxing things up and then and that way over the next few days, everything is just like really organized. So that's my plan at dealing with the chaos that I have created. Like all my kitchen cupboards are empty. It feels amazing. I feel totally on track. I have a week left-ish. I think I'm down to nine, no, yeah, nine days before I fully have to give the keys back, but I'd like to have everything wrapped up in seven and basically have most stuff out of here in five. So uh, only a few days left, but I'm all on track. And so far it's going very, very smoothly. I have met some of the nicest people that have bought some of my furniture. I feel like I've made friends. They've been so lovely. I haven't had any scams or creepy people, which is amazing. And this whole process so far has been very, very smooth. So it's chaos on the outside, but on the inside, I'm feeling really good. So I'm gonna get up and start putting things into categories and trying to get all of this stuff that's up here into their spot. This is what I'm working with for the moment. I've got piles of stuff. There's stuff all through the office. The kitchen is a disaster and I just wanna, wanna get it all organized.
changed my mind a little bit. I decided I would put all of the kitchen stuff that I want to keep up here in this cupboard rather than putting it down on the floor in the living room. This is basically my mug collection and any of the cute things that are related to drinks like my, my tea infuser, my glass straws. I have a couple of these sushi plates that I really like. This is sentimental because this was a gift for my, from my mum. This tea canister I'm just obsessed with and I want to keep that. And then just a few bits and pieces up there. So I'm gonna keep all the kitchen stuff in this cupboard, I think, and then I can put it into a box in the next couple of days. Making some more progress. It's a couple of days later again, and someone is actually coming for my bed tomorrow, so I do need to pull it all apart. I've just had to stop for a second because I'm pretty sure they actually have enough room in their truck or whatever it is to keep the whole base as is and just take the headboard off because they're obviously gonna be able to fit the mattress in. So I probably don't need to pull apart the bed that much. So I'm gonna put these screws back in and then just take off the headboard. Definitely feels a little different in here. Uh, this is really exciting though. I'm excited that this is my last night in this bed. I do have an air mattress that I bought when I first moved. So I will be sleeping on that for a few nights. I just did a whole bunch of dishes and I ordered myself a poke bowl because I now don't really have anything to be able to make food with. I did get some bread and stuff yesterday. I can't get this open. But I did get some bread and stuff yesterday so I can do like grilled cheese toasties in the oven and I have frozen meals. But I just felt like an actual, I can't even get this open. <laughs> Anyway, I think I was saying like I have a few frozen meals and I have stuff like sandwiches that I can make, but I just felt like ordering a poke bowl in. It's salmon, edamame, cucumber, avocado, and I don't really remember what else, but I am so hungry. I also got myself Coke Zero. And I think I will come back tomorrow. I'm gonna do the last part of the moving. To a great start. I made myself a coffee at home and I ended up spilling it all over the chair. So I just had to use the bizzle machine to clean it and then I ducked out and I got myself some tins. I have been living off the belt bagels. They're so good and I have two hash browns. So I have breakfast, a coffee and the first couple of people arriving for all of the large items are coming very, very soon. So I'm really, really excited about it because all this is going today. It's officially the big moving day. All the big furniture is is leaving today. I just had someone come and grab my mirror. It feels so weird without a mirror in here. I didn't realize how much I actually used it because uh, I tried to do my makeup and I was like, I just need to change my whole routine with this. And then someone is coming very, very shortly for the bed and the couch. And I'm so excited. Like, I think it's gonna feel so different in here. Tonight, I need to get my air mattress out of the front cupboard because um, that's what I'm gonna be sleeping on for the next couple of nights. My big mattress is behind me. I've gotten pretty much everything prepared to leave, but this is what I'm considering to be the big moving day because all the big stuff's going. And then over the next couple of days, I can just start boxing up all the other smaller things. And hopefully in about two days, everything will be all packed and all done, which is wild. I feel like this last week has just disappeared and I'm so excited. And I thought I would be a little bit more sad than what I have been. I'm just more excited than anything. I just feel like this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I'm sure at some point I'll be a little sad because I'm leaving, but I also know I'm gonna come back. You know, I'm putting stuff in storage. It's not like I'm leaving forever. So at this stage, I'm just really excited. And oh, it's gonna feel so good once this is all cleared out. I'll feel like I've really, really made some progress. The best is gone but they didn't have enough room for the couch so they're gonna come back in about two hours which is fantastic I need to go and see the storage place and I think I'm gonna go and get the what do you call it 
the blow up mattress out of this front cupboard. bed for the next few nights my fitted sheet wouldn't fit so I've just laid the flat sheet down instead and I'll sleep on that but this is actually bringing back some memories of when I first moved in and I had to use this mattress it just feels like I've come full circle next up I'm going to wrap the couch in some plastic for them so that it doesn't get damaged on their way home <laughs> is officially wrapped. I'm about to head out and go and organize my storage locker so I can start moving things in in a couple of days. And then this afternoon, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's next, but oh, it's starting to feel really good in here. Mm -hmm. 